Hi, my name is Rodrigo, and in this video, I will show you how to create a link aggregation using Prina's 11.3 U1 update one. Uh, and I'm also using a, a managed switch. I'll show you how to do all that. And th the focus of this video is just to show you how to do it, and you'll see great like, increase of speed because of this. Because when you aggregate two links, you I combine them and you can combine the speed so yeah so there's two ways of doing that via freelance you can either do it on the console on the screen setup or you can do it on your PC over here but in this one I figured out it was much easier just doing it on the screen so I'll show you how to do it, do it here first so as you can see I have two Ethernet connections from my NAS free NAS to the switch. They're both Ethernet Gigabit, gigabit Ethernet connections. So as you can see, I have two IPs, 122 and 125. So first things first, as you can see, configure link aggregation, choose number two. Want to create, so create. I think the number one is this LACP, go there. Select protocol, okay, select interface. So you go interface one, and then both, and that's it, it should be done. Oh, wait, never mind. Yeah, okay, so it, ah, okay, it is done. As you can see, it's been created, it's here, so, for the second part, which is creating it on the switch, I have a Zyxel, if that's how you pronounce it correctly, 8 port switch GS1900. The process should be the same, regardless in, in any switch, it should, be, it should be more or less the same. So, you see, I have from the Freenas PC, I have connected to number two and number three, these two ports. So, you want to aggregate these two ports here. Still, you go here, maintenance, I mean, configuration. Where is it? Link aggregation. You enable it. Okay. Management, you add. Get whatever name you want. So let's just say OIG1. LACP, which is what we put on the console, the screen console. What's this? Number two and number three. Why is this? Okay, apply. So here it is, it's done, created. Black port, black one, here it is. And this one. Okay, that's it, that's pretty much it. So, what I recommend is you reset everything, reboot everything. So, I'll reboot the switch. First, where's the reboot option? I can't find it. Maintenance, okay, reboot. Fine, reboot the system, and then we'll reboot here, number 10. Yes. Wait, no, never mind. Okay, reboot. Yes. Okay, that's gonna take a while, a couple of minutes, so we just pause the video for now. And when it comes back up, I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. Hey everybody, I'm back. So the P so the Freenas restarted as well as my PC. As, as you can see, everything looks good. You have one IP address right here, single one. And if you check the network interfaces you should only see one so yeah there it is the one we created a, a while back so that's pretty much it on this side everything's good and if you check the website you can just log in here as you can see i can log in correctly by putting in 
the IP address. And if you check, where is it? Yeah, the interface, there it is. One that, that was created on the, the, the console. And here's the IP. So yeah, so that's pretty much it. And if you check the switch, my switch, the login here, there we go. Configuration, link aggregation. So yeah, pretty much it. It's done. Everything is looking good. And I do recommend after creating the link aggregation, you reset, restart all the jails and all the plugins and everything because they'll need to have a new IP address. Uh, they'll need to obtain a new IP address. And if you don't restart, they won't get the new IP address. So I hope that was helpful. That's pretty much it in a nutshell. If you need anything else, just let me know. I'm happy to help. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.